Welcome to the Server Maker tutorial where I will show you today how to create your own patterns to use in Server Maker on the plans and on the CAD screen. With Server Maker we supply a list of all the common patterns that we've come across while developing the program and I usually recommend starting off with one of the patterns that we've already created rather than starting something from scratch. So that in the tutorial today I'm going to take one of our existing patterns and then we're just going to modify it but the steps will be the same if you create a pattern from scratch it'll just be a bit more work to get to the final result so to start we need model maker you can use any version of model maker we go to the CAD screen we go to pattern and we go load you'll see that the pattern folder is set to my default server maker location at the moment so I'm going to go and pick circle big. We will use this pattern and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller today to use on specific diagram points. So once you've selected the pattern from the list you click OK and now we need to place the pattern on screen so that we can start working with it. The important thing is we want to place it at the origin 00, zero which makes it easier for Server Maker to work with the pattern when we take it into Server Maker. The way we do that, we press spacebar on the keyboard, it brings up your snap modes, we use the coordinate snap mode then to define the X and Y coordinate of 00. zero. So as soon as I press OK, it will place the pattern for me and then I press cancel and I just exit the function and then press normal on the screen to see the circle on the screen. Now at the moment it's a pattern that you've loaded so in Model Maker we can't directly edit the elements of the pattern we first need to explode the pattern so we go to CAD we go to pattern and we go explode and then we say explode all the elements in the pattern and now Model Maker has gone and made all of the elements of the pattern CAD elements that we can now edit and work with. Now when you start editing the first thing you need to check is to make sure that you've got your scales set to 1 in a thousand. And if you are starting a pattern from new and you don't have anything imported like we did now it's also important to make your scale 1 in a thousand so that when you start drawing your pattern you're drawing it at the right dimensions. The way that we're going to do this is we'll go to circle, we'll say info and I click on the circle info. Now at the moment you will see the radius of the circle is 2.8 meters in Model Maker. Now when you draw it at a scale in 1 in a thousand, Server Maker will assume that this radius that we enter is a millimeter radius. So what it does is when we're working in Model Maker, if you want a circle of a radius of 2.8 millimeters in Server Maker, you will create it at 2.8 meters in Model Maker. So 1 meter represents 1 millimeter in Survey Maker. Which makes it very easy then to create a circle of 1.25 millimeters in Survey Maker. We simply just enter 1.25 in the radius box and it will be exactly that size in Survey Maker. So the reason we've done that is just to make it simple the millimeter size that you are looking for on your printouts and on your plots when you do it in Survey Maker is exactly the number you will write into the boxes um, when you create your line work, your circles, all the elements in Model Maker. This goes also for your text height and width will work in that same principle. So now that we've modified the circle I now go and I go to CAD and I go to ID and you say new ID. We first want to clear all of the items that might be selected at this stage and then we say do ID and on the ID element screen we now want to select all of the elements because we want to save all of these elements back into the pattern file. Say close. Now that we've selected everything you'll see on my screen everything that we've selected is red. We go to CAD, we go to pattern and we go save. So now the program will save all of the selected items into a new pattern file so that we can use it in Survey Maker. You'll see Model Maker comes up at the default pattern location. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going one back, 
into Survey Maker and into Survey Maker's Pet Data folder. I give my pattern a new name, we'll call it CAD Demo, and then we say Save File. Now you'll see that Model Maker will ask you for the base position again for this pattern. Now this will be the same as when we started with the pattern. We want this pattern to be saved at the base position of 0, 0 in the pet file, which just makes it easier for Survey Maker to work with the files. So we do it the same way. I press spacebar on my keyboard. It shows me the cursor snap modes. I click on the coordinate snap mode. It's still on 0, 0, so I just press OK and it will save the file. And then you'll see that Model Maker will confirm the save location of the file and also the number of elements which is important to make sure that you've saved everything into the file that you want to save into the file. After you've pressed OK, we can now go over to Survey Maker to make sure that the file has been loaded correctly. So let's open Survey Maker. Okay, so let me just bring it onto screen. So to check the pattern, we go to Settings, Cadastral Code Maintenance. And I've got a temp cadastral code here that I usually use to test with. So I click inside it. And now in the drop down, I should see CAD demo. If you don't see the pattern that you've just created in this drop down, if you don't see the pattern that you've just created in this drop down, it might be for one of two reasons. It might not have been saved in the correct location, so the folder where Server Maker is expecting it or Server Maker was open when you added the pattern to this folder. So Server Maker only loads this pattern list when the program starts up the first time. So if that's the case, just close your Server Maker and open it again and then Server Maker will repopulate the list with the current files in the folder and you will find it in the dropdown. If the pattern is still not there, then you haven't placed it in the correct location and I'll show you just now how to see where you must place your patterns. For now, let's select this pattern and then you'll see that Server Maker gives you a little preview of the pattern. You'll see it's a circle and uh, now when we plot it to page, it'll be 1.2 millimeter radius and then you'll see also when we start and we use it on the screen, you'll also immediately see the difference on the screen. Now to check the pattern folder, we'll go to settings, configuration, and you'll see there's a pet data folder. Now the current location on my screen will be your default location for a clean install. It'll be inside your user folder. Under a .mm systems SM folder, you'll find the pet data folder. And in there will be all of your patterns that Server Maker will use. You can change this to a Dropbox type of folder to a network drive or to a folder somewhere else on your computer if you're doing it for backup or safety purposes. But then it's important that when you add patterns to this folder that you also put them in the folder as it's specified in the settings of Server Maker. Otherwise the program won't be able to pick up those new files that you've entered. Okay, so that concludes our tutorial. If there's any questions, please contact us at the contact details on screen and we would gladly assist.